get to watch a little highlights over the weekend of college football? Yeah, I watched a few. Any in particular? Uh, Todd Gurley, nice. Um, How about from the Thursday game? <laughs> yeah, I watched mine. Uh, uh, and then I uh, watched the interception again right before I went to sleep last night. So it was something good to go to sleep to. Does that finally put it to bed, literally? Um, <laughs> it was put to bed after that night, honestly. But, I mean, we had the 24-hour rule, and uh, so I enjoyed it. I had fun with my teammates. And you couldn't back. resist one more time. <laughs> I couldn't resist. It was on. I was looking for something football to look at. Um, and so I just turned to the Pac-12 and it was on there. So it was cool to go to sleep to it. Change but, channels right after the first half? Stick around um, for the kickoff return. No, nah, I missed the kickoff return. Okay. I fell asleep. Hey, Can you walk us through that quick? What what? Your mindset? Uh, Interception? On the, yeah, on the pick. Um, so there was there was going on a little drive versus us, and so um, I just got the PI uh, play I played before, and so I was I was a, a little upset about that, and then um, so I just felt like a play needed to be made, and, and so if it's meant to be, it's up to me. We say, and so I just wanted to be make sure I was perfect on my coverage. God tried to stem me, take away my leverage. I took it back, and then once when he made his break. I believed it was Dig, and so did his quarterback. So um, I, com I stayed committed to it. He changed his to take it to a post, and the ball was already released by the time that happened. So um, just had to catch the ball. Uh, thank God I caught the ball, and uh, uh, I seen the sideline. I was making my way to the sideline, seeing the flow of the elephants uh, going towards <laughs> the sideline, and um, I seen a wall that my guys uh, it naturally created. And so I just took it back the other way and um, met me down in the end zone. How, how easy does that stuff come together for you when you're when you're a returner? I mean, you've got the whole field. You got to look at everyone. Did it just kind of like highlight in your brain? Like you could just see like a line. Like, it kind of it kind of just came to me as the vision came. So um, once when the ball came, it just it just seemed so uh, surreal. Honestly, um, just just some work like a workout um, a workout with Brian Kelly and. Um, we do, we do things like this all the time, and so just regaining our leverage with Coach Me, regaining our leverage, so uh, it's something that we, that we do frequently, and just one-on-one uh, on, one -on, -one on coverage. And so and then the break, we work on breaks every morning uh, when we come out here, and then catching the ball, and then once when the vision just came naturally, the field seemed so big on the interception, yeah, you guys got lanes on, on kickoff returns, so. It's a little different and it just felt so natural. Eric said you set it up a little by going right first, but you didn't really set it up? I mean, I mean, not na it just set, set it up naturally. Um, I wanted to just get to the near sideline and I was in the middle of the field, so uh, I just took what, what the ball gave me. So, um, but then uh, I always remember, especially when we're doing like a kick, like a field goal and a field goal return or whatever, um, that the all linemen. So uh, elephants. everybody, uh, yeah, elephants on parade. So, um, <laughs> so uh, I had to remember that and um, had to make great decision and taking it back to the other side. On kickoff return, do you ever? How deep into the end zone do you have a green light to return? Um, I feel like I always have a green light, <laughs> but um, no, like five yards is, is is close to the minimum. I think five is go, and then. Go, getting towards eight is, is kind of like make a good decision, uh, depending on how clean I catch the ball, and um, and also getting a forward lean. It's all about timing, and so uh, it gets a little deep once when uh, you have those blocks set up so early on. So, so do you do you feel like you've been paid back for your your uh, that first touchdown that you scored that was called back? Now you, now that you have three, um, probably. I mean, I guess we could say that before wouldn't be too bad. <laughs> um, but like I said, um, he really nothing he could have did about that. I don't want to expect him to stop. And, and it, uh, you guys could tease him all you want about it. <laughs> I don't think he minds it. <laughs> how, how frustrating was that? I mean, you had a great game, obviously, but that near interception, because that would have been a spectacular play. That you <laughs> yeah, I, I wish I had that one back as well. Um, and I looked at the... the uh, power rankings for the nation and, and 
I would have went from 11 to 4. So <laughs> You figured that out. Yeah, I, I, I took a little peek. It's, it's about that time and sure. just to see where we're at. Um, and, and it's cool. It's cool where I am, though. So I'm, I'm satisfied. But that would have been a great interception to get, especially because I know I kind of know Bergevici, too. So uh, just to tease him. <laughs> Are you surprised the team still kicked you at this point after all you put on film after the last couple of years? I mean, I if they didn't, I would feel like that it would be taking a shot at their own kickoff return team. I'm at their own kickoff team. And, and I feel like teams have, have confidence in their kickoff cover team, uh, that they can, uh, they have the ability to stop uh, stop me. And, and But it's not really me that they need to stop. They need to worry about my blocking, which we have great athletes all over across the board for me and, uh, that are committed to um, the kickoff return team as we are on kickoff cover. So. It's, it's fantastic that the team that they put together for me. How much do you practice returns compared to that just being instincts? Is it mostly instincts? Mm, we practice returns a lot, um, but... But for you especially, like being the return guy? Um, like we just, I just, I don't know. It just is what it is. Like we, we work on, I work on some things as far as setting up the blocks for them. That's something that I, I truly try to work on. I seen uh, Devin Hester's last return and how he sets up the blocks very well. And, um, that's something that I wanted to take take to my uh, craft as well to get to be able to return touchdowns. Uh, and so that's that's something I really work on. I take notice and um, and it's, it's very noticeable, uh, especially this last game, just so, showing how the flow of the ball controls the whole, the whole uh, defense or the whole um, kickoff cover team, like like the elephants on the parade. Do you have a preference between returning punts and returning kickoffs? Kind of like returning punts better, but we didn't get a lot of those, and so um, uh, I I had to make a switch turn on for that for that um, a kickoff return. Um, they tried to get me a few times, and. Um, it almost worked, but not not yet. <laughs> How come you like uh, taking back? Between returning punts and returning kicks. Returning punts, um, it's it's a little less timing. It with the ball in the air and and the, the blocks at the beginning of the line um, gives you the more spacing wise. And sometimes with great blocks, um, it spreads the field and it's more space. So I can get a guy to stop his feet easier and. Um, Stuff like that, but with, with kickoff cover, it's more of like they can take a shot on me right away, and so um, uh, getting somebody to stop their feet on that is a lot harder. Like you've seen uh, number three shoot on that one when we uh, tried to do that one return going the opposite way, and so that's a little different. It's, it's I feel like kickoff cover, uh, kickoff return is more leaning on your blocks, and, and punt return you can you can more create your blocks. Do you kind of define yourself as a as a defensive back slash kickoff returner now, or is that, or are you still a defensive back who happens to return kicks? I think you guys classify me as that, so I guess I'll take it. Um, I'll take it. <laughs> I'll, but um, it's fun. It's fun being back there returning. Um, I enjoy it, and it's something that I've brought to my craft and. Um, it's not, it's not too big of a load for me, so uh, I enjoy doing it, and it's not a hassle, so I'll take the beef as a bag that, that can't be mm -hmm. You didn't even start returning kicks last year until kind of the end of it. Yeah. What, what did your coaches miss that whole time? What did they see? Um, uh, I just don't think they knew I could do it. I didn't do it in, uh, in high school, really, so I didn't expect them to just be like, oh, you want to go back there? like. And I never brought it to my attention to like, oh, I can do this or anything like that. Um, I was just more focused on last year getting this defensive back spot. We had a great battle, and, and um, I just really wanted to uh, establish myself as a defensive back first. And so um, now that I've done that, it's allowed me to expand my role. Um, but you all, you always want to, um, always want to shoot for what you want to do first before you can bring on other roles to the team. Where did it change? Did the coaches approach you? Did you go to them and say, this is something you wanted to do? Um, 
I think they brought it up in meetings first, and then um, we had a battle for it. So they, they brought it to upon me in meetings um, with me, Miles, and whoever else was back there, and then um, I took it upon myself to um, create that role for me. You guys have four defensive touchdowns in four games. Is it, do you, as a defense, feel like that's sustainable? Like you guys can keep scoring and, and helping the offense in that way? You know, I, I definitely do believe um, we can keep doing that. We haven't reached our full potential at all on that defensive side. And um, we're, not, we're not so worried about um, what you guys say of, of how many yards we got put up, but it's something that we do notice and, and we would like to cut down on. But at the end of the day, it's, a, it's, a, it's all about touchdowns and, and uh, how many touchdowns are getting put up. And so as long as uh, we, don't, we don't have all these touchdowns in the end zone, um, then we're fine. But we also we do want to reach for uh, better goals. Travis Wilson is such an aggressive quarterback. Occasionally he gets reckless. What are the challenges when, as a defensive back facing a quarterback who has no fear? Um, doing our job, being in a place where we're supposed to be, not forcing plays and uh, just trusting in our technique. I feel like every week it's the same thing. As long as we come out here and focus in on what we're supposed to be doing, then uh, the plays will come to us in the game. That's good.